When husband and wife team Daniel and Jessica Becker created Ogie's Trailer Park in Providence, Rhode Island, they certainly caused a lot of confusion. But the way they see it, that really isn't such a bad thing. There are people that have called and want to know what the turnaround time is to fix their trailer, if it is in fact a trailer park. But we like that. We like putting twists on things, which is enough, I think, to pique people's interest to say, you know what, I guess I got to check that out. It's more than the name that has the locals talking. It's, well, just about everything from the kitschy decor to the crazy delicious menu. Stepping foot into Ogie's is like walking straight into a time machine with Sputnik chandeliers, vintage seating, and lava lamps bubbling behind the bar. We really wanted it to feel authentic, so we didn't want to just pay tribute to the 50s and 60s. We wanted it to feel like you were walking into another place in time. But take a closer look and you'll notice a distinct theme to this restaurant's decor cats. Ogie is our cat. He's the image that you see in all of our artwork. There's a Lichtenstein, there's a Warhol, but we've kind of made it Ogie themed. We also have our kitchen named after our other cat, which is Granny Boo's Kitchen. They're the real owners. We just work here. You could come to Ogie's a dozen times and still find something to make your dining experience unique. The bar offers a menu full of old-fashioned cocktails and over 60 kinds of American beer, all served in cans for that added trailer park flair. And ordering your meal from Granny Boo's Kitchen is a far cry from your typical counter service. So this is our kitchen. It's Granny Boo's Kitchen. You order through this window, they will give you a state license plate. No serving. Oklahoma! They call you over our intercom system. California! You drop your state, grab your food, and you go seat yourself. And where you choose to sit might all depend on your mood. Inside, there are plenty of comfy chairs and funky stools. But if the weather's nice, head out to the patio, which features faux trailers and a cozy fire pit. It's a little more swanky inside, a little more silly outside. Jessica and Dan even carried their trailer park theme over to the menu, putting a fun twist on some familiar homestyle favorites. We wanted to be true to trailer park food, which we think means Americana, and it means comfort food. It's really modestly priced, and you get a lot of food, which we found equals happiness. Some of the smile-worthy options include a grilled bratwurst drizzled with tangy horseradish cream, mac and cheese croquettes made for dunking with a bacon onion cream dip, and Granny Boo's badass bacon burger stacked with lettuce, tomato, sharp Cooper's cheese, and thick slab bacon. You're not gonna get like little squirrely curled up pieces of reheated bacon. I think every little component of it is a little bit more than what you would expect. I don't think there's anything I can touch it. But the king of sandwiches here at Ogie's is the Southern Roadie Fried Chicken, which boasts slab bacon, onion gastrique, and chicken fried with crushed Cool Ranch Doritos. It's crispy on the outside, it stays really juicy and moist yeah. on the inside, and it's really delicious. And it has that little trailer park twist with the Doritos on it. For food that's a little more customizable, order up a grilled cheese with your choice of fillings. Everything from onion and poached apple to marinated tomato and bacon. A lot of people don't really think about the tomato too much when they're thinking about their sandwiches, but it transforms the sandwich. You start craving it after a while. And for something even more nostalgic, Ogie's offers grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, including the standard with grape or strawberry jelly and the lavish peanut butter Nutella and flambe banana. It's far more refined palate. Jessica and Dan have even managed to turn the tater tot into a bit of a delicacy, offering six varieties from decadent truffle tots with grano padano cheese to French Canadian style with fried bacon strings, goat cheese, gravy, and an egg served sunny side up. You can even go all the way with heaps of chili, onion, bechamel, and yellow mustard. I think people are really excited about the tots. I think it's a big talking point for people that have been here. They're like, yum. This is going to be good. But this restaurant is more than creative tater tots and cute cat portraits. It's all about sparking conversation and creating a sense of community. We just want people to have a good time. It's not about watching TVs and being on your cell phone. And hopefully people get it and they appreciate it. There's nothing like that.